Now, last week I was talking about calipers and I mentioned the stainless steel lining that you can have done for the master cylinders. So I was saying about pass parts, doing this, this uh, boring the, the, the master cylinders out and then putting this liner in, this stainless steel liner. And I've done that a lot. In fact, I do it with everything. So I thought let's have a look at one because I carry them in stock. You know, I rotate them basically. When, when I have a problem with a Dino or a Maserati or, well, those are the only ones I carry. I can rotate them, you know, I, I take the one off the car that's got the problem, send, the, send that one away and then I can fit the one I have in stock. So I've got one. So we'll have a look at it. So from memory this is a 2.4 Dino one. Um, the Bondalee one. Anyway, so let's, let's take it apart and have a look. So, so what we have, this, this union has a spigot on the end of it and you have to be careful with that because that lines up with the piston which we'll have a look at in a minute so you have to make sure that goes in the right place and that stops it traveling too far so that one has to you know that's that's that has to be taken attention to and then we've got a circlip in the back here we have to take out so this is the end that would go in the servo and this is the end that ends up with the brake pedal on it effectively so Take that out, take that circlip out there, whoops. <laughs> and then that comes out like that. So yeah, so we want to keep all this in order. So we lay it out in order. So we can see here, we've got, we've got a back seal here that stops any um, dirt getting into it. And then there's our actual pressure seal that does the work. So when you put your foot down, that pushes through there. This lot all stays still. And that's where the it will displace the brake fluid. What you'll see is this is rounded off, so it's like an O-ring rather than a conventional seal that is sort of flared out. You know, these normal these cup seals are sort of flared and they, they flare out and, and then push down the bore and they seem to look like they'd be pushing the fluid with them and then when they come back, it looks like they'll slip back over. But this is just an O-ring effectively. And this is a Fiat thing. And that's why they're susceptible to wear in the bore and, and then the pedal can creep. So let's put that down here, keep it all in a, an order. So we've got another cup here goes in there. And we've got the spring there, goes in there, retained into that. And then we've got the next piston along, which is down the bottom here. And we, what we do to get that one out, we'll take the end cap off, which I've already loosened off. So this will be sprung loaded again. There you go. So that's got a spring on the end of it. So if I push that out of there, We'll get that lot out. Now what we see here is that's that collar that lines up, you know, that's shot where that collar shuttles that we're saying about. You need to watch that out, watch the where that goes. That's where that one would go, isn't it? It goes into that bit. So that retains there. Then here's our springs. So that will keep it in line, that will keep it in check so we can see what we've got there and we see, you can see how that sort of sits together. So we, we know that's all all right and there's our seals. So that's that bit, but what we're really looking at is in here, is the actual liner. So what we're looking at is the internal bore of that. So if we get a light on it and see what we, we, see what we can see. So if we look in here, can we see that is a separate part? That's where it's been counterboard and had this liner fitted to it. So if we turn it around the other way, you see it there? See it probably a bit better in that one. So if I look here, see that's the original bore there. Then this is the liner. This is the bit they've inserted. So what they do is they counterbore through it and then they put this liner in and then you put the drillings in, so where appropriate the drillings are. You can see it here as well. As well. If you can see there, this is just sort of the end of the liner. Can we see that? You can see it there. So it'll be counterboard through here, through here, through here. So you get all the drillings are done. And then they can hone it. And then it can be honed down through it. And we see the, see the drillings in there. It's a bit mucky looking because it's obviously had the, had the stuff in it. But that's, that's effectively what they do, they counterbore it. 
and you know and hone it and then you can put all your seals in and it all works so that's it that's the idea i'll get something down in there push something through there and we'll clean it up and we'll get a light in there get another another shot of that so that's it really that's it so obviously they they, they blast them and cleaned up all the all the outside you can see the numbers on it and so on and you can see it's all been cleaned up all de-rusted and it comes back lovely and done and ready to go with all new componentry as, as and required and new seals. And then you can paint it if you want. You know, quite often I paint them before I fit them. But anyway, this one's just been sat in um, in its bag, keeping it clean with a bit of WD-40 on it. And then I'll, when I get round to it, I'll paint it and then we'll fit it if I need to. Uh, so well, that's it. So I'll quickly pop it back together and that'll do. So you've got to remember what order it goes in, which is why it's laid out like this. But what I'll do, I'll get this one in. Let's um, I'll work from the end here. Let's get this in first. Get my circlip in. There you go. So I get this lot in. Well, that's got to line up, do you remember? Just pop that in there. That holds it in check, you see. It stops it coming any further out. And then pop this lot in. That'll be under a fair bit of tension, but we should be able to get it started. There you go, that's started. And that's done. Now obviously I've got to do that up tight, and I might put a bit of sealant on it or lock tight. But that's it really, that's done. So as I say, these, these are done by pass parts, that's how I get to do it. It's, it's apparently it's an Australian product, um, so I've been told. But anyway, Nigel at pass parts, he's the man for it. And I do this even to reproduction ones because some of the reproduction ones aren't very good. So I choose to have them stainless steel line from new. But what I prefer to do is use the original. And, and, and restore that uh, as much as I can. So that's the idea. So I'd recommend pass parts if you have a problem, send it off, have a fairly quick turnaround. And um, you know, they can take care of all your brake system. You can rebuild these yourself, obviously, you can hone them and so on, but I just find it a lot more convenient this way. And I'm conveniently going to go home now, so I'll say goodnight.